Hey everyone, today we are going to paint some chili peppers. I'm using a 9 by 12 acrylic paper, uh, yellow oxide, burnt sienna, titanium white, cad yellow, cad orange, cad red medium, and two shades of green. I'm going to use a sponge, assorted brushes, and whatever brushes you are comfortable with. So what I've done is I have put my white and my yellow oxide and burnt sienna on the canvas and I'm blending it in with my sponge and you have to work really fast or it starts to dry. As you can see down there on the bottom, I have a really dark spot because I either applied it too thin or I'm just a slow poke. But I'll just keep adding more paint with my sponge and get it blended dabbing, twisting, blending, adding more paint, and moving around, changing hands because my arm was getting tired, and just keep working until I can get it to do what I want it to do. Adding a little more white, a little more yellow ochre or yellow oxide, it's the same thing. And uh, just keep uh, adding it until uh, you get it the way you like it. Okay, so what I've done is with that picture, I blew it up and I traced it onto my canvas with some um, graphite paper. Now you can freehand draw it if you want, but I did the tracing because I'm doing Cinnamon's Big Art Quest and that was our assignment for this week was to do a tracing. So I traced it on and I'm going to paint in my main branch first with burnt sienna. Odds are you'll end up needing two coats of paint, and I do find it easier to, especially for something like this, not trace and just freehand in the branches because I'm having to use a lot of caution to get around my leaves and my chili peppers. Now I'm adding green, my darker of my two greens, to the stems and the leaves. leaves. And you'll see me here picking up really both shades of green and maybe adding a touch of white trying to um, show the difference between where the leaf folded over or curled up. I'll go back in and I'll put a um, green and white mixture that I will go back over top of once it dries with some yellow to really make that green like really pop out. Normally I don't use two greens but because I have no blue or black in this painting I didn't have colors to mix to make green so I ended up using two greens. and. Um, it's really makes it difficult. You're almost, if you have colors in your palette that you can blend to make your green, it, it looks much better with that. But this turns out okay. Just keep an eye out on it.
So it's funny, this is my second attempt to do the voiceover. And the first time I got all the way through the whole video and went to apply it to the video. And for whatever reason, it didn't take. So now I'm having to do it again and rethink of everything that I said. <laughs> so I don't miss anything. Now you would think the second time around would be better, but we'll see. So I just keep painting this green on the leaves and the stems, keep working at it, and like I said again, it seems to take a little bit longer because you're having to go around and, you know, fill in the lines of your uh, tracing, and it just seems like it's a little bit tougher to do. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I still completely, thoroughly enjoy doing this painting, and I absolutely love my end results. So, you know, just, just keep working at it and keep blending those colors. Now I'm adding a um, green-white mix that once this dries, I'll, I will, like I said, go back over it with the yellow to make that green really pop out. And uh, don't you just love my background music today? Um, I have to, like, really say thanks to uh, Pandemonium Art because she uh, mentioned in her last video where she got her music from, so I went to the website uh, free music dot, or excuse me, free music archive dot org and checked it out and I love it. Okay, now I'm painting my peppers in with white because the yellows and the orange and reds tend to be quite translucent. You know, they you can see right through them and it's hard to get your color the way you want it. So if you give it a white base, it makes it uh, much easier. You know, it's a little extra step, but you'll thank yourself for doing it because you're really going to make yellows and oranges and reds pop out. Okay, this one's one of my darkest peppers, so I'm giving it a red base over top of that white so that when I apply the orange, it makes it kind of a darker, brighter, darker orange, if that makes sense. But what you're going to do here is you're going to use your red, you're going to use your orange, you're going to use your yellow, and you're just going to keep applying layers and blending your colors until you get your peppers looking the way you want them to look. 
And this one here that I'm working on is going to end up looking like a banana in the beginning, but trust me, it's not a banana. It will look like a pepper in the end. Now the whole time I'm working on these peppers, I'm not rinsing my brush. You may see me wipe the excess paint off from time to time, but I just keep letting the, the colors blend together. And that one over in the corner is not a banana either. See how putting that red down before the orange really made that st those two stand out? Made a big difference on those two. Because they're, um, what do you want to say it? Like, hidden up under the leaves more. They're so the, the light's not hitting them as much, so they don't look so yellow. Or maybe they're just not quite ripe yet. Or maybe they're riper than the others. I don't know. I don't eat chili peppers. I can't take the spice. Just keep adding your yellows, your oranges, and your reds, and blend, blend, blend. And so you get your colors the way you want them. I mean, it's this is it's starting to come together. It's starting to look really good. You'll be really proud of yourself after you do this one. I might even hang this one up in the kitchen. It, I like it. putting a little bit of white on it so that I can go back again with the yellow and really make it stand out over there. Darkening the one side with some shadow and this is also going to make it have a um, more um, rounded, cylindrical type look. See how that yellow pops out on that pepper? You don't forget to blend.
Now we're getting some orange on that one. It's not looking like a banana so much anymore, is it? Looking good. I'll just keep building those layers. Bouncing around my canvas from one pepper to another. Keep adding more and more color. Oh, I think there was a hair there. At least everybody will know it's an original. Okay, now I'm adding a little burnt umber into my stems of the leaves and the leaves themselves just to like transition that brown into the green a little better and I'm going to outline the leaves a little bit with the burnt sienna excuse me if I said burnt umber before I didn't mean to it's burnt sienna just a little bit a very light touch very thin line you know broken up line not a solid line and just adding a little bit to each of the leaves and the leaf stems themselves. Phone ran out, I had to restart it. Okay, now I'm adding my leaf colors and my pepper colors to my main branch there. Just to help it all blend in a little more. A little green, a little yellow, a little orange, a little red. <coughs> Excuse me. Brightening up the, uh, the, um, the stems that go to the peppers because it's a lot brighter than the other stems on this, even brighter than the stems that go to the leaves. Putting yellow on the, the white-green mix that I put on earlier, making that green pop. Looking good. Still working on the yellow. Now I'm adding some red on the main branch, from the little stems, onto the leaves themselves. You know, no leaf is perfectly green, unless it's like absolutely new growth. And then it's many, many shades of green. But uh, the leaves in the photo that I'm going by, they had like little brown spots on it. And I'm using, um, hmm, what do you call it, uh, artist choice? Artist choice to make those spots and lines red instead of brown.
adding some white now here and there and everywhere for some highlights. It makes those little boogers just uh, pop right out there. And we are almost done. And if you did this painting with me, you should give yourself a big pat on the back because you just did a very nice painting. Okay, now I'm in that corner there. The brown was just a little harsh for me, so I'm trying to blend it out a little bit with some more of the yellow ochre or yellow oxide and the white. And you know what? We're done. Now, give yourself that pat on the back, because I'm patting myself on the back. And voila, we are finished, and it looks good. Be proud of yourself here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for painting with me. I hope yours turns out as good as mine and that you're proud of it and hang it on your wall. And that's it, folks. Thank you so much for watching.